Welcome everyone, my name is Jeff Smith and today I'm going to do a short demonstration of using SQL CL and our liquid base support to capture, version, and deploy an Oracle database schema. So I have a development instance that I've created a couple of tables, I have an employees and a departments table, no foreign keys or anything fancy. I want to capture this as a version 1 basis. So in SQL CL I'm going to have a version 1 directory that I'm running out of and I'm going to run the gen schema command which will say take everything in this development instance and generate a change set for it. So this will run pretty fast, it just has the two tables and I can see the output's been written to my v1 I had the three XML files there and now what I want to do is connect to my uh, test environment and deploy this change set. So I basically want to deploy this version 1 I captured in a brand new environment. And I have no tables in here right now. And we'll just pull up the help again. And this time I'm going to run, instead of gen schema, I'm going to run update. And I tell it the file that we're going to push, which is going to be the controller XML that the previous gen schema created. I'm also going to pass a false boolean which says ignore the schema attached in the version 1. And so it deployed those two tables. I can see what's in my schema now. I have a couple of liquid base support tables and I can see the definitions of my imps and depths table which are going to be the same as they were so let's say I want to go do version 2 work now and I, I created some constraints that most notably a foreign key constraint so I did that work manually in SQL dev and now I'm going to go generate a, a new baseline of the schema in the version 2 directory so I'm just running this gen schema again again it's going to be fairly quick it's just got a couple tables and now a new referential integrity constraint So I've got those new files there. So this is my new version 2 in dev. And I want to go push this version 2 over in my test environment. So I'm going to connect to my test environment. Let's look at the help again. I want to look at update SQL. So update SQL says, hey, just show me what would run if we were to apply this change set to the current schema. And again, false is saying ignore the um, schema attached to the definition. So here's what we would run if I deployed version 2. So I'm currently at version 1. This is the DDL that we would execute to make version 1 look like version 2. So I've got a couple of primary keys and a foreign key constraint there. I I'm, I'm like that change. It looks good to me. So now we're going to run the update controller, again telling it to ignore the schema attached because it attached when generated to my uh, dev account and I'm running it in my test account where the schema name is different. So it did some work there. So I can see I've got a primary key indexed now. I've got a primary key. And if I look at the same um, information from my departments table, similar, and now I also see I have a foreign key constraint pointing back. And if I go build a quick data model in my um, data modeler tool. I can see in both my test and my dev environments I've got a couple tables uh, with the foreign key. So it looks like I've got a matched environment there just by pushing those change logs. Now I don't have any data uh, in my test environment but I do in my dev environment. So you might want to use um, a change set there to push data across. So this is a core liquid based feature that we support. So I have a data-based change log. And uh, the change sets are defined in XML. That's what we support. Um, the type is SQL file. And I can just point to an existing SQL script with a bunch of inserts in it. So I'm going to say update. Um, and using that change set, it ran pretty quickly. And I can see that my tables now have data in them. 
So this would be useful if you had some lookup tables um, that you needed to populate. So uh, basic reports could run. If very large amounts of data, you're going to want to use SQL Loader, Data Pump, um, that sort of uh, data mechanism. But for simple single you know, row by row inserts, the update SQL mechanism runs just fine. That's been our demo. Thanks very much. Uh, have a good day.